Hello and welcome to our daily sketching routine. It is Monday, December 2nd, 2024. And today's topic will be sketching profiles for fun. So before we begin, welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. And I sketch and post every day and I use timers to stay focused and to build a daily sketching habit. And if you just want to use these videos as a companion to build a habit, then feel free to do that. I'll start a five minute timer and we'll go back to five minutes but it may be several sessions. Uh, or you can also use the videos as ideas, such as profiles. Or you can just kind of listen to it and then come back to it whenever you feel like working on profiles. So these will be from imagination as I often do, but I mean, we kind of go back and forth with the reference. <laughs> Um, but I know that for me personally, I enjoy drawing from imagination mostly, like most of the time, but then reference is also helpful. And yeah, if you've been following along, you'll, you'll pretty much know. So this page, originally I had started it back in October and I never did a actual video about this um, and then I revisit it uh, yesterday I just kind of sketched a couple more just to uh, give myself notes and so today we'll just sketch for fun and part of it is part of it is it's a new week and I like to so last week was all about it was a deep dive into the artistic journey and what it means to be a beginner and an intermediate and an advanced artist and pretty uh, big concepts i really enjoyed it but now i, I kind of want to start the new week with this will go into the figure drawing uh, playlist and there's a lot of videos and you're welcome to check those out it goes into more detail about the features and stuff and it's also good to just revisit things and practice because a lot of this stuff, like I'll remember some things, but then forget some other things and, and yeah, just have fun with it. I mean, ultimately it's like a playing a game, <laughs> uh, drawing. So, uh, yeah, and you'll just kind of get better if you enjoy, um, but if you don't enjoy it, then, I mean, you're not going to really want to do it. So I'll just kind of go over what this is about. And this is me just playing around with proportions. So we're going to, this will go into figure drawing, which in figure drawing, the playlist that I'm talking about, and also figure drawing in general, uh, there's different things. So it's basic drawing, but then it's figure drawing because there's more complexity because you're drawing the figure. And then there's also, so the basic part of it, it has to do with construction and we'll talk about that. So this is construction. And then the focusing on the proportions and then even more specifically focusing on profiles of the, the human head and face. So, let me just work on this one right here. So if you want, you can just, this is, I'm not gonna say I invented proportion, but this is sort of my way of doing it, just me like personally, but I mean, it's based upon, first of all, just proportion and maybe personal taste. So, when you're working on construction and proportion, like specifically proportion, 
you can do it however and then part of this is just and I'll go over what's going on in those other sketches but you might want to just put down a few lines so I want some that are kind of big and again this is just kind of the way that I draw it and you can use a pencil um, part of why is I like using a pen and then also um, I don't it looks better if I don't draw it in pencil and then ink over it I kind of waste time as far as um, videos are concerned so that's five minutes I'll start another one and so maybe over here we won't put down the guidelines and I'll just kind of show some stuff so yeah let's go up here um, I think I did one video that talked about like how to start a sketching habit or something like that and I might have shown a little bit of this but I didn't really make a like a full video about it so yeah as far as construction it's good to have like figure out a way that works for you but this is the the beginning of the proportion so this determines sort of the height and since we're doing profiles it's like the height of the head and it's just like a really useful thing not only just for drawing but also for composition so you'll notice that I can see like what I can fit into the onto the page and this is useful not just for your sketchbook but also for anything else that you're wanting to draw um, an illustration or a painting or whatever it's good to get used to knowing that okay I can draw like the profile like this big or whatever you're drawing because everything is going to be based on the proportion as soon as you draw something it's going to have proportions so with that said once so this is the first sort of like that's the height and then I'm just playing around with again this is just me coming up with something uh, there's a system for all sorts of things but it's based upon um, life and it's also based upon imagination so if this is basically the top and the bottom but again it's just a guide it's not meant to uh, like you have to stick with this and it's better if you don't actually it's better if you kind of play around with it but at least you'll know like what's causing the drawing to look the way that it does and you can control it so if this is the top and like the bottom and this we'll call this the the center line and then we'll call this one it's either the middle or the center whichever but then there's like another center line so if it is a proportion then you can use if you go halfway I'm just gonna keep it at the zoom level I don't know if I started another timer apparently I didn't so let me start a five minute timer all right so yeah if you find another center line then what I've been playing with is this idea that whatever this part because that sort of determines the the direction of the face you can and I'll do I'll do a better one I'm just wanting to sketch this one out if you go this way just kind of eyeball the distance or you can measure it but really you can just kind of eyeball it so whatever distance this is or whatever proportion in other words then have it be over here and that kind of is like the beginning of the ear and then that's the as far out as the nose and there's different shapes of course and let this be the the brow or not the brow the um what did I say 
yeah so yeah like, um what did i say yeah so yeah let that be the brow so if that's the where the brow is then you can just kind of construct the profile and then let that be like the the chin again this is nothing earth shattering but it is fun and that's kind of for a daily sketching habit is kind of fun to have something like comfortable to sketch and so this is where like the, the the ear would be and I'll I'll do another uh, and then this is kind of where the the neck starts so that's kind of helpful to have this line because that's kind of where it starts and it if you so what's cool about this is you can look up reference and if you're wanting to draw from imagination it'll create a way to memorize it easier um, and so what I mean is there's so many different shapes that can go within the construction so even if you look up the neck and like the jaw I mean it all depends on like the muscle and the, the shape of the body um, there's a lot of variety but it all sits within like the basic proportions because it's really coming from the skeletal structure like underneath and it's a it's yeah it's a, a shortcut for without having to draw like the skeleton all the time so next let me kind of go over that again so let me sketch this one out so for example yeah have this center line and then i'll call this the middle find the middle and just for now you can just keep the nose at the middle and then if the question is well how far out it doesn't really matter <laughs> you could make it come out like this much because i mean you can play around with it because it's interesting because the proportions are fun because you really can adjust it quite a bit so if you have that one then you can sort of eyeball where this would go and as far as so we said that this was the brow um, so there's something going on right here so that's like the bridge of the nose in other words so yeah you can just kind of play around with this shape which is the profile and as far as like where the ear would actually go it's kind of within here so you can play around with this shape but that's where it starts again this is based upon drawing from imagination based upon figure drawing so that's five minutes and it's also sketching to have fun so I started another five minute timer so this will be the going on to the 15th minute and then this will be where the chin and so you can play around with not only this part but then we'll play around with like the angle so this is like the angle right here so for example that you could put the chin right here and then so you have the middle right here kind of where the eye would be and then if you're wondering again even where the eye is the shapes can look different see you can put the mouth right here again that can look different so you can refine the shapes
Now, this is just kind of for fun, but it works. And you can study, and you'll see that it, it does work. Um, but then you'll come up with your own sort of look and your own style that you like prefer. But it's kind of good to have something to work with to begin with. So I'm not going to go too much into the details. You can check out the figure drawing playlist if you want to know a little bit more about like the individual features. This is just kind of going over this method. <laughs> so you might find that I'll go over sort of how to do the rest of the head. But yeah, we are kind of focused on the the profile though. Now, if you don't want to draw all this stuff, if you just had like this kind of the height, you can find this middle part right here and then just find like the tip of the nose and then as and then we said that like this is the brow this is the the nose this is the chin and this is just one way of setting up the proportion there's actually a lot of other ways which i'll do other videos about so when we say that this is the brow the skeletal part is it's sitting like like underneath like that's the skeleton and then same with like the bridge of the nose so there's going to be a bone structure right here and then the shape is cartilage and then the eyes so the socket is right here that's what's happening with like the brow and so that's what you can adjust. And of course, like the surface anatomy of the face affects things too. And then as far as the, um, so the mouth is basically kind of in the middle, but maybe a little bit higher up. But again, it can look different because of the sur like surface of the face and like the shape of things, like the lips and stuff. So also the angle so you can determine like the angle of the face like and you can exaggerate that so if the mouth is kind of like right there then you can figure out like the like the shape of the lips and then the the cheekbones right here and then as far as the eyes again you can have a lot of variety like some eyes are more sunken in but overall like the shape is kind of like this but there's a lot of different varieties and then you can kind of take these ideas and look up um, reference look up people <laughs> so that's another five minutes so keep going so last week I, I was using a 10 minute timer which does have a different feel so five minutes to 10 minutes that's pretty good so we did that and then for this one I'll just kind of, we'll just stick with this, the the height, but then we'll kind of just play around with like the like the curve of it, like that. Kind of keeping in mind the proportion, and you can sort of shift it by a few millimeters I guess um, so there's just a lot of variety which is kind of what makes it fun so 
So next, I'll talk about maybe right here. One, I'll draw it bigger. I'll make it go this way so I can get the, the back of the head. So I'll draw it bigger so that you can see that that's what helps it to look correct no matter what size you're drawing it. That it'll still look in proportion. Um, and also I'll talk about the rest of the, the head. So if we stick with, again, you can adjust all of this, but we'll stick with like the basic that we've come up with. So you've got the, the center and then like the middle of that. And I'm going to just draw the construction because just to get it to, to be correct. So I'm just going to come out like as far as I feel like. So whatever this is, we'll just kind of eyeball it to be like right there. And we're saying that this is the brow. And so that's where you set up like the angle of the face. So now if you if you look at profiles, you see that they have like different angles. So um, like overall, you could also use like kind of a curved line like this if you want. And so we're saying that this is like basically the bottom part of the nose and then the, the brow. And then we'll say that this is the beginning. So now if you're wondering how far back the ear should go, I would just do like another, you see how it, like that one to that one to that one. And then there's like another one. So basically it's one, two, then three. So that's like the, the proportion there. Now that's good to know because a lot of times that's what looks weird. It's like the the width. So now that you have like the height, a lot of times it's the width that people sort of mess up on. Um, so if this is the eyes, then we know that the eyes aren't really gonna go out beyond the nose. So. So, um, what did we say? I kind of messed myself up there. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. So that, so this is the brow and people have just different profiles. So, but it's going to come in. And then this is generally where the mouth is. And so, yeah, if, if you set up the angle to be like this, then again, depending on the, just the way the face looks, that's how you get that profile. And then now that you set up where the ears are, and again, I'm just using this for convenience. And if you're trying to get a likeness or if you're trying to create a specific character, that's what you would adjust. That's what makes it look like that particular person or character. But I think this is helpful because a lot of times people draw the width of the head a little too narrow. So that's five minutes. I'll start one more or maybe one or two more. So from here, the, how do I want to explain this? The next one would be to it's not the next one, but just an example would be maybe the like where the jawline is. And again, this can be more angular. It depends on who you're drawing and how you want them to look. Like you can make it more pronounced. You can make it, you can kind of leave that out if the face is more um, not as chiseled. I mean, even within men or women, there's a variety. You can have more angularity right there. Again, if you use a pencil, you can just erase some of this. So let's just kind of get like the overall um, shape of the head. So this would be kind of the 
like the furthest back that it goes and then after that everything kind of and then the neck is you can kind of line it up with like the like where the jaw turns like that and then we said that this is helpful for the where the neck would go like where it would begin like kind of like this and then of course there's the neck isn't straight up and down like like it, because of the spine <laughs> because the spine attaches kind of like around here like it goes back so again this is meant to one help to draw from imagination help to create characters but also it's fun to kind of look at reference and sort of see okay like that's like that's how you would draw it and if you want it to be more precise you would just be more precise with like the proportions that's really that's really what's going on so from here the eyes are like somewhere kind of around here it depends on the person so it kind of has that kind of shape Again, this distance, like this is the bridge of the nose. And this is basically like the eye socket. It, it depends on the person. It depends on how far into it, the, the eye socket. Kind of like that. The pupils are inside there. Uh, as far as like the mouth, there's all sorts of variety there. So right here, these shapes sort of tell you what the person looks like. Like the, the space right here. And then the shape of the the chin that's probably as far as I can get today and then yeah figure out where the nostrils go and you got that shape we can do shading maybe I mean sometimes I kind of like having the kind of the schematic the blueprint view because it helps me to remember so that's why like that's how I tend to use my sketchbook so that I know like oh, okay that's what was going on so there it's basically notes so sometimes I like to leave it like this and then other people can also look and and learn about the proportions um, but to maybe kind of finish <laughs> so that's five minutes and I'll just kind of wrap this up so yeah just kind of check this out and I mean that this is a good profile and it's basically correct it doesn't look too narrow that's like the main thing is usually people get the the width incorrect um, but there's so many varieties that you can get you can just play around with that and then and then you don't always have to just draw the proportions of course you could do it in pencil and erase it or you can freehand so if i were to draw like a character so let's say i have like the character right here like a profile oops can you see that let's scoot this over all right so let's say that i have like a profile and i start with the body and like the shoulders again there's i have a lot of videos about stuff like this let's say i'm drawing this character but like this over here like zoomed out 
Um, and I have that much. So I would figure out like this, like, so you're going to attach the head. And so I would kind of figure out like how big, look, like how tall the head would be. And we'll kind of keep it the same character, the same basic proportion. So we are, had already established that that was kind of the angle of the face. And so the center line would be like that. So remember like the neck is at an angle. So this will be another five minutes. I just didn't start a timer. So this is like the angle of the, of that, of the um, skeletal structure. So it's not sitting up like straightened uh, up and down. So yeah, so you just determine like the height. If you really want to know, well, how do I know how tall to make the head? I mean, use the neck since you drew that first. You can use the neck as a kind of guide. Some people have pretty long necks, but it's kind of a, a guide. It'll be either kind of equal or probably a little bit longer like taller, that kind of thing. But once you have this much, so that's the center line, which is what we were doing, then yeah, you could just go off of that. Um, okay, so it's a little different because of the way that I did this. We're kind of going into like the different way of a different methodology. So what I would do is if, if you set it up like this and maybe I'll come back to um, this is, this was starting with the profile basically, and then building out because sometimes I find, cause character design is my, one of my favorite things to draw. So sometimes I just want to focus on the profile. And so if I'm focusing on the profile, I usually don't need a bunch of other stuff. And then I can just kind of go off of that. This one is sort of starting with like the outside, like in. So if I were to say that that's, that actually becomes kind of the, like what we were just doing with these lines. So with that said, that's kind of how you would do that. So halfway would become like the brow and that's the typical like Loomis method, other methods. <laughs> That's usually like what it is. It's either the eye or like the, the brow, sort of like that center there. But if you want to make it look kind of like this character, so just go off of like what we were just doing, but it would be right here instead. And kind of like that. And it's kind of the same thing as far as like the, the distance here, like you can kind of it's a it's a different approach. I would set it up differently. So maybe if you set it up kind of like outside in, which is what I'm calling this, I would use different proportions. I can show that just so you're not lost and just so I, I would know myself. So basically this would become more like where the ear would be right here. Now in my other videos, if you actually look um, where I talk about figure drawing, like I do go over all of these. So you'll see that it, it works. But just to kind of close out this video, so that's if you have this. Again, there's just different ways. Just like I wouldn't necessarily start drawing the head by drawing like the body first. So that that was just a way to show that there's just different approaches. But if you know these things, then then yeah, you'll know a whole lot <laughs> about drawing. But just to close out this video, which I guess will be another five minutes or so. Let's just kind of ignore this for a second and just draw like, um, we'll draw 
we'll do the outside in thing. So I'm going to determine like the height right here. Um, and then I'm going to determine like the, we'll just kind of draw like a, a box. So remember here, we started with the profile and built out to the rest of the, the head. Here we're going to start with like the shape of the head. So if you just have like the box, then the center here, um, you could do this and just kind of fit the head inside here so you see how so this is going towards like the loomis thing proportions but it doesn't have to look like a loomis head i mean it could look like whatever so from here you can start to do what like what you learned from doing this thing you can fit it in here and if you're wondering well how do you fit it into there it's it's in the proportions are still there so remember how we said like one, two, three, four, like they're still in there. So the face is kind of like out here. Like it's not, um, see what I'm saying? Like it's still one and then like two, three, and then like four, like about like, cause when you're drawing, I mean, it's artistic. It's not meant to, be this rigid that's how you, like sometimes um, when people draw stuff it looks kind of rigid because if you stick too much to like the proportions but it gives you a guide but you're gonna adjust it just like the cooking analogy that I like to use you're gonna adjust it but like in general you want to know the proportion like that you're gonna use of the ingredients so that's how you would build kind of like the outside, the overall like shape. But notice that it's still, it still basically fits. But this would be like the kind of the basic proportions, you know, like that I've shown in videos and like that you normally see. But hopefully that made some sense. Um, and what I would do is either leave it kind of like this as notes to myself and then do another page and just make it more aesthetically uh, pleasing. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like these videos, please support the channel by liking, subscribing and commenting. And until next time, keep on sketching.